yo, yo, what is going on, Cover One crew? Welcome back to the show. Hope everybody's doing good on this new week. We got some breaking news happened last night, and it is DeAndre Hopkins signing with the Tennessee Titans. And I mean, it's a good one, man. But is there a curse of the Titans? That is the question mark. We've had some time now to sit back and digest, you know, what this signing could potentially do, not only for DeAndre Hopkins, but for the Tennessee Titans offense and fantasy football, respectively. There's a lot of things going down right now with these Tennessee Titans. And I mean, the saga is over for DeAndre Hopkins, which is good because now we can actually move forward and actually dissect and understand what is going to happen in 2022 for DeAndre Hopkins and this Tennessee Titans offense I mean he is entering 31 years of age and going to a Titans team where you know there is some question marks about aging wide receivers uh, going to die career wise with the Titans okay he signs a two-year contract 26 million dollars 32 million dollars with incentives if he hits yardage bonuses reception bonuses uh, uh touchdown bonuses he's gonna hit up that uh, 32 million dollar mark with incentives so he took the bag instead of going to say the buffalo bills or the Kansas city chiefs to go and try to win a ring and i mean okay you can't fault him for going for his bag but what did i say before about these titans what do they want to be so it looks like they're trying one last kick at the can and we're talking deandre hopkins in his first eight seasons i mean he secured six one 1,000 yard seasons, 1,000 yard campaigns with the Houston Texans and those Arizona Cardinals. Only missing two games in that span. That's an unbelievable threshold that DeAndre Hopkins has shown for durability. I mean, he's done extremely well in that stats. But, I mean, playing in Houston with subpar quarterbacks throughout his entire career before joining those Cardinals, we had the likes of uh, Hoyer, Mallet, Whedon, and even still, DeAndre Hopkins saw a highest target share rate, 192 targets back in 2015. So he is one of these wide receivers that is completely quarterback proof, and he's done it throughout his entire NFL tenure which is unbelievable nonetheless and I think he still can do it here in Tennessee with a quarterback like a Ryan Tannehill that is one of the you know question marks will he be able to be supported to be a top 10 fantasy commodity in 2020 DeAndre Hopkins showed that he was that elite caliber wide receiver still 115 receptions 1407 in yards and six touchdowns with a Kyler Murray they did look good and they were moving forward in the right direction direction 2021 outside of 2021 I should say DeAndre Hopkins uh you know barring the injury he's never dipped below 29 percent in uh, team target share rate so you gotta believe even coming to a Tennessee Titans which is run heavy they could still go in that direction where they force feed somebody like Hopkins on the regular coming off suspension in 2022 Hopkins still finished as a wide receiver 47 playing in only nine games 119.7 fantasy points so he did have some good contact contest with the Arizona Cardinals this past year even coming off suspension still possessed a boom rate in fantasy football consistency boom rate of 66.7 percent so when he got back on the field back I believe it was week seven he still was balling out for you for uh, you know the shorter part of the six games that he was playing he did very well so you gotta believe the skill set hasn't dropped off we know what DeAndre Hopkins still can do on this field how will the Tennessee Titans utilize this man that is the biggest question marks that that we do have right now and opposed to say, can we trust DeAndre Hopkins with these Tennessee Titans? Is there a curse in tight for the Titans on the in Tennessee? That's a question mark. I mean, they flirted with the idea of bringing in other uh, elite veteran talent in the past has not worked out, you know, so it gives some of us fears. You know, what is there to be expected? I mean, Randy Moss, he was 33 years of age, eight games, six receptions, 80 yards, zero touchdowns. Yes, it was on the, you know, final years of his NFL career so we got to take that with a grain of salt Andre Johnson similar type of thing he was 35 years old on the edge of his con or of, uh, of his NFL career I should say eight games nine receptions 85 yards two touchdowns so again we can say fine these guys were on the you know latter part latter stages of their NFL careers but when we talk about Julio Jones he still had something left in the tank 33 years of age we thought he still had something in the tank Julio just continued to deal with injuries he played in 10 games 24 receptions 229 in yards and two touchdowns so that uh, experiment did not work with these Titans with Julio Jones either. So they decided to go a little bit more youthful in a running or a wide receiver who still possessed, uh, you know, skill set and talent in Robert Woods, Bobby Trees. That still didn't work out at 30 years old. 17 games Bobby Trees played with these Titans coming off the ACL. 
only managed 53 receptions for 527 and two touchdowns. Yes, granted, you know, Ryan Tannehill was dealing with some injuries. They did a rotational set at the quarterback position, so it did not pan out very well. The, the history in the past does not bode well for DeAndre Hopkins to be that guy. However, DeAndre Hopkins has done it in his, in his career with far lesser uh, quarterback play than what Ryan Tannehill could still provide in this league. And there is some youthful talent, not to, not to say in the waiting for these uh, Tennessee Titans at the quarterback position. But what is this offense going to be in Tennessee in 2023? This is the question mark. I was saying on a podcast we did on uh, a few shows down, what do these Tennessee Titans really want to be this year? Do they want to rebuild? They were flirting with trading Derrick Henry. You know, they drafted another quarterback. They got two in the set waiting against Ryan Tannehill. What do they want to be? They seem like they're confused. And now they go and sign a DeAndre Hopkins to do one last kick at the can. Can they make the postseason? Can they have a good long stretch run? Are they still going to be run heavy with Derrick Henry? Ryan Tannehill in his career has only supported two top 15 wide receivers in fantasy football. That being Jarvis Landry back in Miami in 2015 he was the wide receiver 9 and AJ Brown with the Titans in 2020 he was the wide receiver 14 that's it for Ryan Tannehill in his career supporting anything of high end wide receiver talent throughout his time and going back to Miami in 2015 Ryan Tannehill was a younger product and he could actually you know sling the ball down the field that much better while he is matured and his accuracy has gotten better it's very difficult AJ Brown obviously out the door went to the Philadelphia Eagles but can Tannehill support Two top 25 wide receivers is the question mark. You know, DeAndre Hopkins will absolutely uplift the play of a Ryan Tannehill. There's no question in my mind, as we have seen it in the past. But will, Ryan, will the Titans have a dedication to the pass game and to support and constantly, uh, you know, provide volume for DeAndre Hopkins? That is the question. Tannehill's best season in Tennessee was that 2020 year. He went three uh, 3,819 yards, 33 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. So you're hoping that he's going to get into that similar stat line where he's flirting with 3,800 to 4,200 passing yards and getting over that 30 touchdown mark, which could absolutely happen here in Tennessee this season with a DeAndre Hopkins. Last year, the Titans did have the second fewest pass attempts in the league, but that comes with caveat because Ryan Tannehill did miss time and they had a rotational pieces at the quarterback position and the offense was in complete disarray. But Tannehill was injured, like I'm saying, and the pass attempts, they were what, in 2021, 531 previously to the 2020 injured season. So you do understand that 530 pass attempts can support multiple pieces in this offense which is a positive to say DeAndre Hopkins and somebody like a Traylon Burks could actually eat a little bit in this offense. They dipped down to the 11th overall rush attempts this past year, which was interesting as well. 587 rush attempts were the year before they had they led the league with 551 rush attempts. So you got to think they're going to scale back some runs, keep Derrick Henry healthy. If they're going to try to make a playoff run in any uh, stance or situation that they're going to be competitive, you got to believe they're going to pull back some of the carries for uh, uh, Derrick Henry and hope that they can at least continue with this pass attack and Ryan Tannehill being healthy. Now they have Traylon Burks and DeAndre Hopkins. You know, what do we believe this offense is going to be? Going back even further, will Will Levis or Malik Willis take over a Ryan Tannehill if they're struggling? And then what do we see with a DeAndre Hopkins, Traylon Burks, and Derrick Henry? These are the question marks that we see here in Tennessee, man. Updated fantasy rankings as of right now show Traylon Burks is the wide receiver 34 where DeAndre Hopkins sits at wide receiver 35 so the updated instantly when this uh, signing did happen and they're back to back because we don't really know who's going to be the wide receiver one you got to default that to be a DeAndre Hopkins this season and then showcase some tutelage to the youngster in Traylon Burks where Burks may take over more target share as the season does go on perhaps but I think DeAndre Hopkins is here to be the wide receiver one while teaching the young buck how to play football here in uh, in Tennessee man wide receiver 20 last year just to give you a frame of reference 170.8 half PPR fantasy points so that's kind of your threshold you're hoping for for at least 
two top 20 wide receivers in this offense is roughly around the 170 to 180 mark for both these wide receivers. And if you're suggesting that both these talents could be top 20 wide receivers, that's kind of your threshold where you're going for. And it is possible. It's it's just going to be, you know, they're going to have to morph this offense uh, differently than we have seen in the past for the Tennessee Titans, which kind of is the marker for Burks as well, being that, you know, top 20, top 25 wide receiver. We could see it. Where does DeAndre Hopkins fall in this offense will he be the alpha once again taking over will they do more splits where there is uh, you know shared target share around between Burks and Hopkins that is another question mark that I do have could they be could DeAndre Hopkins be a still a top 10 uh, top 10 or top 15 wide receiver in the NFL absolutely I think the skill set has not dropped off in any stretch where he can't support being a, a top 10 a top 15 wide receiver in fantasy football but again, it's who's throwing you the football is the question mark. Tannehill, uh, Malik Willis, Will Levis, we shall see if it is Tannehill. I do believe he's got good enough, you know, uh, a good enough pedigree, something in the Jimmy Garoppolo stats where he can support talented wide receivers with high end numbers. Derrick Henry getting touches is the key that I see as well between these two wide receivers that could put the wrinkle in the top end productivity. Henry has averaged 312.2 carries in this backfield over the last four years, and he did miss time in 2021, so that would have likely gone above 325, 330 uh, rush attempts for Derrick Henry alone. You got to believe they're going to continue to run this uh, football. Hopefully, they're going to you know pull it back just a little bit where target share could increase for Burks and DeAndre. Hopkins but I mean what does this Tennessee team want to be this year looks like they're trying one last kick in the can am I a betting man yes I am am I betting on DeAndre Hopkins to be something spectacular in this Tennessee offense you want to say maybe and and you can't say that with any you know firm justification because we've we've seen the history of how this Tennessee Titans pass attack does not produce and perform but you put a talent like Hopkins on this team and he could absolutely uplift everything in this offense including the play action pass including opening up lanes for Derrick Henry this is good news overall for the Tennessee Titans is it good news for fantasy football we shall definitely see but as Hopkins does you know Continue to go up the boards as we get into training camp and the preseason. We'll see. The value right now for me at wide receiver 35 is very good. So I would take a shot on DeAndre Hopkins as of today. But if this continues to increase, we may have a different conversation, especially with Traylon Burks, perhaps, you know, seeing his uh, top end trajectory now falling off a cliff. But nevertheless, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, jump in those comments, give me your thoughts. What are y'all thinking about the DeAndre Hopkins signing? There is a lot of moving in parts right now we got to understand how this offense is going to go what do you think about it titan fans man you guys got to be excited for having d hop for at least uh, the next year or two to be on your offense and hopefully you guys can move forward maybe will levis takes over and he's got that cannon of an arm so we'll see how this offense does go but we'll see you next time i am out mm -hmm.